Jesus Christ wandered the land for a while as a healer and a teacher of parables. Yet he knew that a time would come when he would have to give up his life to redeem the sins of others. In his 33rd year, Jesus knew this time had come. On the back of a donkey, he entered Jerusalem. The people of the village rejoiced because they believed their Messiah had come at last. They cut branches from the trees and threw them in his path, crying, Hosanna, as he passed. Christ went into the temple to pray to God. There he drove out those who were using it for trading and money lending. Then he opened the doors so that the sick and the lame could be healed. The priests of the temple were very angry and plotted against Jesus. They spoke with one of his twelve disciples, a man named Judas, who agreed to betray his master for thirty pieces of silver. Jesus and his followers celebrated the Passover feast at the house of a friend. During the meal, Christ turned to them and said, One of you will betray me. All swore that they would never betray him. None more strongly than Judas. Jesus simply turned to him and said, You will betray me. Peter vowed that he would go to prison and die for his leader. Before the cock has crowed three times, you will have denied that you have ever known me, Jesus told him. Christ took some bread and broke it. Take this bread and eat it, he said. This is my body. Do this in remembrance of me. Then he took up a cup of wine. Drink this wine, for it is my blood. Do this in remembrance of me. That night, Jesus left the supper with Peter, James and John, and went to the Mount of Olives, to a garden called Gethsemane. There he asked his friends to keep watch while he prayed. Alone in the garden, Jesus was tormented by doubt. He called on God, his Father, begging that he might be spared from the cross. Cannot this sacrifice pass from me, he beseeched. He prayed all night, knowing that the soldiers must soon come for him. At last, Christ knew it was time, and he climbed to his feet. He must make his sacrifice if the sins of mankind were ever to be redeemed. 